Hello everyone, and welcome to another YouTube video. Today, I thought I'd just turn some random objects into designs. So I'm just going to open up Pinterest, we're going to look up random objects, and we're going to pick our favourites and turn them into some character designs. Hopefully. Um, so, let's just get straight into it, I guess. I'm about to, like, um, expose myself on my Pinterest page, but it's fine. So, let's just look up object and see what comes up. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with this one. Ignore the top comment, please. Um, yeah. I like this one. It's interesting. I could fuck it up, but you know what? Who cares? Let's start with this one. Okay, so I don't have that much of a notion of where to start, but... I think we just start sketching. I'm thinking, I don't exactly know what this thing is here, but I'm, I might turn it, I might turn it into like a snake looking thing. That could be cool. Like if this was a person, like the jug itself, and then this is like a snake that just completely contrasts. We will see. But, for now, let's just start I think experimenting. Hello everyone, this is voiceover Neve. Um here to fill in all the bits that I didn't talk for or just was way too quiet for. When I recorded this, I was really tired. I've been as I said last week, I was in working in an animation studio for the week. Um in work for work experience. Uh really it was more being taught things. But um you know, it was it was really fun, but I am exhausted, and I'm still a bit sick, and you're going to hear that. I'm going to try edit out all the coughs, though, but if you hear any coughs, like, you know, that's why. But yeah, you might hear me talking about Phantom of the Opera. I went and saw that on the Saturday, which was when I started recording the video. So that's why you'll, like, see a bit of a jump on the last one. I did, just spoiler alert in general, I didn't get it finished until today. Yeah, okay. Oh, I can work with that. So I'm thinking if we keep like up here more like whites and blues and then transition it into pinks on the way down. It might be good. So let's try get an outfit out here. Okay. So I haven't given this guy a name. And you guys can name him in the comments. Same with the other two characters that I'm going to draw. But um, the like rough storyline I came up for him is like he's sort of this like bookkeeper. In, like, this sort of, like, liminal, not really liminal, but you know what I mean? Like, I kind of said it's, like, an area between, like, the past and the future, so time doesn't really work there. So he's this bookkeeper, and he takes care of, like, all the tomes and things. Whether or not he's a good or a bad guy is up to you as well. There's certain knowledge that he doesn't let um, out. So whether or not that's a good thing is up to you. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. But that's sort of his rough outline. As for the snake, I had two ideas for the snake. Either it's a watcher, like as in a quote-unquote guardian, but not really, more just making sure he's doing his job properly, or the snake's a friend, and you know, I'll see what you think about it in the comments. Those are kind of my ideas though. So I'm going to use a brush that I'm not really used to using, but it's smoother on it cause, just because I just realized the pixel size isn't that big on this canvas. And like we're going to get th the texture from the smooth brush anyway. So if we use a textured brush, it was just going to be worse. Okay, so I'm back again. Um, Speaking on the snake, I just had another idea like five seconds ago. Uh, the snake could be some sort of like tempter that is like constantly trying to get him to like move away from his post or do things he shouldn't be doing or something. I think that could be cool as well. Um, but yeah, I kind of just wanted to talk on like, I guess the actual story. So you'll see, not the story, I don't really have a story written, but you'll see in this that there's sort of the sort of more pastel I guess not really pastel but sort of his vibe and then there's one character that'll come up now 
and she's gonna be very much not like the other two and um that's because um well it didn't originally have a reason but i've been you know i've used the designs to come up with the story and the story is now because i did that that there's two factions sort of his faction the one that like takes care of all like the tomes and things and that entire like space between time and then there's the second faction who sort of take care of anything between there and the other world and they're sort of space superstars that's the best way i can describe their vibe um but those are the two factions sometimes they get along sometimes they don't it's the whole thing but so this faction don't do traveling they stay right in this place i imagine the place is like maybe like one big building and then a bunch of floating islands that's what i'm imagining um and i think that'd be quite cool but yeah this is our bookkeeper i imagine he could be a bit stuck up not in like like a oh i'm full of myself sort of way but a bit like rigid as in like rules are rules you gotta stick to him he's kind of that guy he's way too serious he really needs to relax but he can't because he's he takes his job a little bit too seriously but also i kind of get it i mean let's pretend you know the fate of the world like you know how everything goes could be in his hands potentially but um yeah he deals with sort of like the knowledge and stuff um and yeah so far as design uh, I kind of wanted to keep him formal, sort of, while still sort of giving this place its own fashion and obviously sticking to what the object looks like as well. So he was getting flares, and then since he got flares, I gave the girl flares. You'll meet her later. I kind of have a name in my head for her. Um, but yeah, I imagine he's very serious. Um he doesn't believe in any of the ghost stories that are told about the place um he doesn't take anything the snake probably annoys him if we're going the tempting route um but so far he hasn't given in or maybe he's given in to the odd time the snake was like hey you should eat some chocolate and he's been like yeah i should but he's not going to tell anyone about that no that no he d he does not betray his duty no, he would never do that. Yeah, I imagine he's probably quite high up in the ranks. Probably. Not the highest in the ranks, but quite high up. I would assume that, like, because I have other characters in mind for the next time. I think I'm going to do a few episodes in this kind of episodes. Yep, videos even in this sort of world and then move on to the next one when I run out of ideas for this one. But it could be cool, I don't know. And um, obviously he's not named, and the snake's not named, so feel free to give your suggestions in the comments. But um, yeah, so I imagine he's probably well-liked to a degree. There's probably some people that find him stuck up, as I said, or, you know, maybe too interested in his work to be interested in them. And that could offend them or something like that. I don't know. I'm not them. He doesn't care. He's happy enough doing his own thing. He just chills out in the library all day. It's like a massive library. The one I have in my head. Freaking massive. Like, it's big and all that. He also, like, you know, allows people to have certain knowledge. I'm sure he regrets giving people the knowledge of, like, how to make plastic. That didn't turn out really well. Like, you know, the oceans are a bit full of that stuff now. So there's probably some things he regrets and he's hiding from his boss. Um, and then there's other things where he's like, yeah. I'm also going to say that he, in my mind anyway, isn't the first bookkeeper. The first one would have given a bit too much knowledge about other things beforehand. And then your one would have been like, you're sacked and created this guy then to take his place um and yeah he's doing a much better job about not giving like 
world destructing advice but um yeah so that's sort of my rough idea for him obviously it's quite rough i did come up with this in like three four days but you know it's it's all right i'm i'm happy with the rough outline of it um let me know what you think though so there's our first character um let me know what you think um moving on to the next one I really like this teapot, and it's sticking with the, like, bluish team, so will we go with that? I think we will. Right, on to our second drawing of the day. I'll probably do one more, and I might make, because I've been doing humans for the past two, so I might make the last one an animal, but no promises, because that's very outside my comfort zone, so we'll see. Um, but I have an idea for this one, so. Hey, I'm back again, but I'm not back for long this time. Uh, so, this character is obviously, as I will say later on, a guardian of sorts. And, um, I think it would be funny, though, if she could make tea for people as well, since she's based off of a teapot. But, you know, whatever. Um... So yeah, um, if you hear me getting really tired near the end of this one, it's because I was, um, but you know, we, we, we still grind, we're, we're locked in, we're, you know, it's about drive, it's about power, we stay hungry, we devour, you know, that sort of thing, yeah, just ignore me getting tired or as the video goes on. Yeah, I like that. They shouldn't be that big, though. It's fine. She's a robot. <laughs> right, so for our... Let's just draw the clothes on first. I'm thinking using the teapot hat as a teapot top as a hat would be cool. The actual, like, robots themselves, I thought it'd be cool if, like, you know... The robots were, like, made from the souls of, like, people who used to work in the space. And then they weren't, quote-unquote, like, good enough for, you know, their job. Like, the past bookkeeper and all would be one of these now. So, like, you know, so the per whoever's above, like, all of this is, like, you know, if you're not good enough, she'll just turn you into, like, a robot that, you know, can't think for itself pretty much well, well use your soul to power the robot you're not the actual robot so yeah they're quite sad i guess if i had to say something um but i also haven't named the robots themselves or this one in particular so if you have any names feel free to put it down in the comments also originally you'll notice originally i was making the surface very smooth because my original thought was to have it be like a ceramic robot so like that was why i also gave like the handguard on the sword because i was like if the they're made of ceramic obviously obviously they're gonna be like really easy to break so they're gonna need like a handguard but about midway through because the teapot kind of has a bit of a rough texture to it from what i can tell i decided that it would be better if i made them like made of like stone so i made like the texture a little bit rougher even when I was doing the shading, I, like, used, like, a rubber to, like, blot it a bit so it kind of looked like it wasn't smooth. Um, so I hope that made it across. I don't know. I'm not really used to doing texture on digital. Um, while we're here, I have pretty much a minute left to talk to you guys. Um, and I don't remember if I said, said this. I know that I mentioned it earlier in the video, but I don't remember if I, like, say this in the video. But I went and I saw The Phantom of the Opera. Um, you'll notice I start off the next one by rushing because we had to go. And then I also had to get dressed and all, and I hadn't. I was still in, like, sweatpants. But anyway, so I went and saw it, and it was actually, like, really good. And, like, I'm one of those people who have always said, like, you know, the Phantom of the Opera, it's okay. Like, you know, because I'm, I'm not really into opera music. But, oh, my God, that production was, like, brilliant. Um... And the only reason I ended up going was because we ended up having a spare ticket. 
So I'm really happy that I did go after because it was actually really good and I might watch the movie. I haven't been talking much during this one, so I'm you're probably just hearing my voiceover for this one. But um if I do talk, you'll hear it. Editing this is gonna be a nightmare, but it's for you guys, so you're welcome to all what fourteen of you now? I can't believe I have fourteen subscribers. I'm actually really happy about that. Like, thank you all for subscribing. It means a lot to me. Um, even just having 14 is cool. Although, it's not something to tell my my family about. I'm like, oh yeah, I do YouTube. They're like, how many subscribers do you have? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't really check that often as if I don't check it like every day to see if I got a new one. Right, for this one, I think she's definitely a guardian of some sorts. Definitely. I mean, just look at her. Um, she's definitely guarding something. I don't know what she's guarding. Um, that'll be for tomorrow and Eve to come up with. Um, so good luck with that. Um, thank you so much, Past Neve. You left me with absolutely no work to do. Um, I totally haven't been working on this for hours because... You were too lazy to do half of it yesterday. Anyway. Okay, so. This robot tea maker person. Yep. I love my English. Anyway. She's sort of guarding. Well, I'm kind of thinking that she sort of guards like the ruins sort of outside away from. You know, the castle, because I kind of try to make her look old throughout this. I think I cut out the part where I, where I said that, though, so I'm just going to say it now. So I think it's sort of like there must have been, like, an older place that they used to use for the tomes, and she was supposed to guard that. And then they moved it, but they didn't move her with it. So now she's just still guarding this place that doesn't really need to be guarded anymore, if that makes sense. And there have been complaints about people getting attacked because obviously they might not be registered in whatever way she's programmed or whatever. And then there's other people who are there like, I, I don't know what happened, but I just got served tea. So it's been a bit of a recurring problem in this world that like her and a few others have been there for so long. Uh, also... As for, like, how many souls is needed, uh, the amount of faces on the robot shows how many souls. So, in her, there would have been, like, three souls. So, like, if you see one with, like, 18 faces, number one, we're running the opposite direction. Because, you know, that means they'll have, like, a whole lot more power. And number two, that's a lot of people. That's a whole lot of people. Obviously, this one moves around quite a bit. There's no, like, moss growing on her or anything, but I imagine other ones uh, stopped moving because maybe their job was to stay still and, you know, the, you know, nature would have done its thing and they're currently unable to move or something. And here we go. That is our second character. So we're on to our third and final character then. Woohoo! Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. I, I looked at this, and I had an idea. Yeah, I'm doing this one, and you can't stop me. Okay, I have to do this quickly, because i got to go soon. So i got to just get the sketch out, and then I'll do the rest when I get home. I don't know how I'm going to connect this character to the rest of them. But I'm gonna, somehow. Luckily for you, Past Neve, I do know. This is, um, I think I'm gonna name her Astra, but if you have any other names, leave them in the comments. I know she's based off of this light bulb, but it's more to do with space now, because I've decided she's from the second faction that I was talking about. They're a whole lot more laid back, because, you know, they're sort of mixing in with humanity, but they're also, you know, getting it on with the more serious people as well. And, um, she is one of the people who has made up many of the scary stories that scare another character that I've came up with in my head but doesn't have a design yet because I haven't found an object to base him off of, but he'll probably be, be in the next one. Um, but needless to say, Astra scares him to death with those stories. 
She still hasn't managed to uh, scare the first guy in this video, the bookkeeper. Still hasn't managed it yet, but she will not give up until she does. This is probably, this could be my favorite one. And, uh, it's from the least serious image. But you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I also still am unawares as to how I link this one and the other two, but I'll figure it out some, somehow. So I'm thinking that like Astra herself might be uh, like one of the messengers, like someone who's actually trusted to go between both worlds. Rather than, you know, sorting people out or whatever. Because obviously there's people that have to do that. Um, and um, my only other, like, idea for Astra was to make her, like, a mortal, like, superstar or something. But instead of that, I think it would be very funny if she decided she wanted to be a superstar and has made herself one down in our world. And, you know is like oh yeah it totally like helps me with my job totally i which i mean it would it would give her contacts and it you know it would make her job easier but it might just be because she wanted to be a superstar because she saw how you know like film stars and all got to like be treated which honestly go get that bad girl free to work krita krita hurry up krita no. Yeah, I wasn't going to include that little like panicky moment there, but I thought it was like too funny not to include at this stage. Um, it was getting like to the point where like I'd have to go because I had to have dinner and I had to get dressed, and I had to like you know get completely ready. I have I didn't even brush my hair yesterday beforehand, so I had to brush my hair as well because I wasn't gonna do it up fancy or anything, but I did have to like not have knots in it um so i was i was really panicking at that stage i was like ah because i could hear like the beepers going off downstairs of like my dad like finishing up parts of the dinner i was like ah so i'm going to finish her when i get back which could be at any time really okay it is the next day um, we didn't get back until, like, 12. So, it is the next day, but the good thing about that is that we're not going to be rushing. Okay, we're going to be rushing a slide that I don't like. This. So, let's fix these sunglasses. So, I've been trying to come up with, like... to fit this gal in with the other two and I have a small idea but I'm gonna let voice over Neve talk about that damn straight no um <laughs> um yeah I think I've mentioned a good bit of better now um I think the only thing else that like the only other thing that I should mention is that like her faction kind of deals with the stars as well um, and a few of them find it funny that, uh, humans put, like, so much meaning behind, like, constellations and stuff. So they've started making shapes out of them by just, like, moving a few atmospheres and things. Not atmospheres, moving a few universes even. And things just here and there and a few suns just to the right a bit, to the left a bit. Um, in order to, uh, make new shapes, um... Just to see if they can get a new constellation up and uh, they probably make bets out of it. A lot of them aren't artists, though. If that's not obvious by what constellations look like half the time. Um, but they're they're trying their best, guys. They're trying their best. Um, so yeah, this faction is definitely a good bit more laid back than the other one. They, you know, they're like, yeah, you know... We keep the whole, like, every single universe in balance or whatever. But, like, 
just be chill about it, you know? Let's just, you know, let's be a team. Let's have pizza Mondays. And let's have everyone be happy. And then the other places, like, you know, strict rules, this, that, and the other. No pizza Mondays. Like, come on. You know? Like, how? why are they going to come to work on Monday if they're not getting something out of it? You know? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Just saying. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, actually. Um, I'll put the three designs up um, at the end so you can see them. And, um, yeah, any of the questions that I posed at the beginning, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'll see you in the next one. Um, Irish word of the week. Forgot about that. Let's just say it's um, Grena today, which means sun. <laughs>